Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to create a picture gallery slideshow in HitFilm Express. So let's take a look at the preview and get started. Alright, so let's create a new composite chart and I'm gonna call this main. Um, for the duration, I'm gonna go with 5 seconds because I don't have many images to play with. So 5 seconds should be good enough for me. 19, 20, 10, 80, 30 FPS and click on OK. I'm also going to create a new composite chart and I'm going to call this image-01. Click on OK. And um, probably another composite chart for the background if you decide to use any other background instead of a a solid plane you can change it in this background composite chart click on ok so here i'll just create a new plane layer and um, let's make it white and click on ok and you can call this background and click on ok and search for gradient under gradients and fill you have color gradient apply it on this layer go to controls and in the color gradient set the blend to normal Capacity 200 ramp scatter 200 as well, and um, probably I'll just change the start color as well, make it a lighter gray and uh, and then a darker one. So something like that. Obviously, you can play with different values as well. You can just position this properly, and yeah, that's our background done. You can close out of this. And in the image one, uh, let's go to the media tab here for a second. I'm going to right click and click on new and create a new folder. And I'm going to rename this to images. Just for the sake of organization, I'm going to create this a folder. And then I'm going to uh, bring in all my images, drag it and put it inside this images folder. Okay. And uh, in the image one, I'm going to, go to images and drag in the first image like that and um, uh, now we want to create a border around this image so I'm gonna grab this BG layer that we just already created I'm gonna put it at the top and uh, rename this to border and I'm gonna select this layer and then double click on the rectangle mask and it'll just create a mask around the borders and I'm gonna go to expand this mask or shape and uh, decrease the expansion so something like that so you can just decide the thickness of the border right here and I'm going to set this to negative 45 and then I'm going to click on this icon that says invert mask. So we have a border around our image and there's our first image composite chart. Okay, so let's close out of this and let's go to our media tab and here we have the background image one and main comp. I'm going to duplicate this image dash zero one seven more times because I have like eight images in total so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna hit ctrl D seven times and then I'm also going to rename these to image dash zero two image dash zero three and so on and so forth right so I have image dash one to image dash zero eight I'm gonna double click on image two image 3, image 4, image 5, image 6, 7 and 8. Now image 2, let's start with that composite chart. I'm going to delete the previous image and go to images folder and drag in our second image. Put it under your border layer. Close out of this composite chart and do the same thing with image 3. Delete the previous image, bring in a new one, put it under border layer and just close out of this composite chart. And just repeat this process with all these different composite charts. Okay, so we have all the eight composite charts. Now we can bring in our first composite chart, which is the background, put it at the bottom, and uh, let's bring in image one and image up to image eight, put it at the top. All right, so now I want to scale all of these eight composite charts to 20%. And you can type in scale in the search field and uh, it would have been cooler if you just select all of these eight composite charts at once and you know change the scale value of one and it will 
affect all the other highlighted layers but i don't know why that doesn't work in hit film maybe in after effects it does i'm not sure but in hit film it doesn't so um, i just found a different way of doing this so when you have to scale multiple images at once just create a new point layer and paint in all of your images to that point layer and then in the point layer go transform and scale it down to 20 percent so now all of your images are scaled down to 20 percent and now you can get rid of the point layer because we don't want that anymore okay so now i want to scatter these around so i'm going to select image one and just move it around somewhere and just place them randomly I also look to I would like to rotate some of these composite shots as well. So let's just select one of the composite shots and just rotate it. Then I'm going to search for in the effect I'm going to search for drop shadow and apply it on the first composite shot. And let's zoom in and see this drop shadow. I'm going to go to controls and expand the drop shadow angle 180. I'm going to increase the distance a bit and I'm also going to increase the number value and just make it soft like that. So I'm going to copy this drop shadow, control C and I'm going to paste it on the other composite shots, the image composite shots as well. So now all of these images will have a drop shadow. Alright, so I'm going to turn these layers into 3D. So I'm going to select all these eight composite shots, the image composite shots, and uh, from the layer dimensions, I'm going to select 3D plane and uh, click on yes to add a camera. And now, if you just rotate this around, you can see that your images, this grid right here, is your floor plane. I want this image to be flattened out, uh, just like this floor. So to do that, I'm going to I'm actually going to create a new plane layer. Uh, I'm going to create a new point layer and make it 3D as well. And I'm going to call this image control. And I'm going to select all these images, parent it to image control. And in the transform, I'll just change the rotation X to uh, 90 so that it just is flattened out like that. And then we have to create a new point layer and this one will be cam control and we can parent our new camera to this cam control layer and you can just uh, make it 3d as well and go transform and you can just move your camera and right now the camera is looking at this image uh, from the front perspective i want it to look at the images from the top down view so i'm going to move the position of the camera I'm also going to move the rotation of the camera. So let's just try with the rotation first and just make it 90 or you don't have to make it 90. You just play around with this value, um, play with the position. I want to zoom into this image. So and I'm also going to play around with the um, with the positioning and yeah. So I'm just going to zoom this, zoom out a bit and just get a nice angle on this. Um, maybe we'll start from here and uh, animate it. So I'm going to turn off the floor plane for now. And let's just zoom in a bit. I don't want to re reveal too many faces. Just concentrate on one or two. Um, yeah, let's start here. I'm going to create a position keyframe and you can move to the end and just animate it. So I'm going to move it to the left and uh, maybe move it down to this image. Obviously, you can add as many images as you want. So something like that. Right, so... somewhere over here 
So if you look at this animation, play this. It's going to look something like that. Um, so obviously you cannot see all the images, um, but if you want to, you can just play around with different uh, zoom amounts. So you can just zoom out a bit. So maybe start here. And you know, so you can just be able to see all the different images. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that. I like how the animation is. Um, yeah, so then after that, you're pretty much done. Uh, all you have to do is just go to new camera and layer properties. You have depth of field. Just turn that on and just go to lens and play with the aperture value and the focus distance as well. So I'm going to crank this up a little. Um, and then maybe play around with the focus distance. So I want the picture to be in focus at the beginning. So maybe uh, start here. Let's start. Let's start here. Okay. And maybe we want to add a keyframe on this. We'll see that. So if we just scrub through our timeline and see if everything is working fine. So yeah, I think it does. No, it doesn't. So yeah, you have to create the focus distance keyframe. So I'm going to create a keyframe here and go to the end and change your focus distance and bring this image back into focus. Right. So maybe something like that. So if you turn off your depth of field, you're going to notice the blur here. So that's what the depth of field does. All right, so that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you can create this cool little slideshow animation inside a hit film. I can't believe the amount of things you can do with just a free software. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.